Hi, I'm Nick, and welcome indeed to Storytime, The Punisher. Welcome back, Frank. This is the first 12 issues of Garth Ennis' legendary run of The Punisher, which reintroduced him to the Marvel Universe in 2001, after being dead and serving the angels as a supernatural hero, which all agreed was the character's lowest point. Garth brought him back to his true form, starting off with about three years of the Marvel Knight series you'll see here, and followed by several years of a more mature and serious series, Punisher Max. While the Marvel Knight series is pure entertainment, the Max series took a deeper look into the character's psychology and the reality of his life while maintaining the continuity. So after Garth gave us one of the most fun series ever written, he did have something to actually say about the character afterward. I always recommend you read the comics I cover, but this should be taken as my strongest recommendation yet. Ennis' Punisher is so much fun, it really is worth reading the whole thing. As while this is a fantastic introduction, it's not even the best the series has to offer. Let's begin. And get a haircut. Welcome back, Frank. Come on, pick up, come on! Mike, Mike, it's me, man! You ain't never gonna believe what just happened! Okay, get this, I'm down at Sticky Eddie to school, okay? For the party tomorrow, and I walk in and he's doing a deal with some guys. Some more money on dope laid out on the table I've ever seen in my life. And Eddie says, wait till he finishes up. I'm like, cool, I'm like, chillin', just trippin', dude. Watching all this stuff change the hands like this. And all of a sudden, the door comes busting in, and it's the Punisher, man! And he's got this Uzi, okay? And he's not saying a word. He just opens up in his 10 seconds of old school John Woo. And these guys don't stand a chance. And he sees me. And I just about wet myself here, okay? I'm begging him. I'm trying to tell him, I'm just here to score. I don't move this stuff. I am certain he's going to cap me. And he says he's going to give me just one chance. And he says to quit using, get a job, and stay clean. He even tells me he cut my hair. He calls me a hippie, Robbie. He says he can find me anywhere. He'll be watching. All that garbage. And he turns around and walks out. He walks out. I mean, Mike, man, don't you realize what this means? That means I'm sitting on enough product to set it up for the rest of our lives. And all you have to do is drive down here and pick me up and I... I have to go now, Mike. Frank returns to his New York apartment where he lives under the name John Smith. He greets his neighbors, the portly Mr. Bumpo, the heavily pierced Spacker Dave, and quiet as a mouse Joan. Baby brother, oh lord, look what they did to you, Eddie, look at you. I swear, I swear these pigs are gonna pay. Still no word? Nothing new. Sal says the money went up with the dope. Firefighters saw burning C-notes floating everywhere. Said the air was full of powder. He's trying to get us a police report. Shouldn't be long. It's weird. Who hits both sides in a buy and leaves without the merchandise? And the money, too. Tell you who it sounds like to me. Ah, don't say it, my friend. Don't even think it. Well, big guy. Morgue's off limits to civilians, pal. Better turn around and mosey on back to the hospital. Come on, off you go. So how much did Bobby Nucci pay for a look at his brother's corpse? Hundred bucks, man. You wanted that too? What do you got for me? But, but how am I gonna breathe, man? You want me to shoot a couple air holes? Yeah, no! I'll be fine, man. Don't worry about a thing. Get lost, bozo. Yeah, disappear. We got a man in here in need of a little privacy. You deaf or something? You know who that is in there? Our boss is very bereaved right now, bozo. I was you, I'd vanish before he comes out here and shares his grief with the first sap he lays eyes on, you know? Holy! Oh, no! Oh, yes. First thing they do is freeze, like always. So number one's a freebie. Then they wake up, freak out. Get him! For the rest, I'd pay full price. Get out! Ah! Punish you, you psycho! You are dead! Ah! No! Ah! Die, freak show! Die, die, die! Let's do it, come on, let's go! Gunfight in the morgue, rule one. Don't hide behind the thin guy. No, dear lord, not me. No, 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 no. Rule two, shut up. Got a message for your people, Bobby. Listen. Remember how things used to be. Remember the terror. Remember dying every time the phone rang. Because you knew I was out there. The message is for all the scum. But the Nucci's are a good enough place to start. Sticky Eddie. Dealer. User. Like the OD business rivals. Watch him choke on blood. Brother Bobby. Mr. Date Rape. And Carlo. Ma Nucci's number one son. Been tailing him since he left the cowgirl club. Do in the town. Can't have heard about Bobby yet. Where are you going, punk? Huh. <laughs> Perfect. 104th floor deck is closed tonight. Unless you're Carlo, you settle for the regular view. He slips the manager an envelope, gets a smile, a nod, and the key to the auxiliary elevator. He's looking for a thrill. Don't you be coming up here, Bruno, and see that no one else does neither. You got that? <laughs> Death jerk. How about that view, baby? It's amazing, Carlo! Damn right it is. All them other mooks got a crowd together down there. All them sightseeing morons packed in with a nose that's stuck in each other's armpits. But not us. You stick with daddy, baby. I'll keep you away from all that trash down there. 
You just remember that Daddy knows best. So I feel all alone, baby. You ready to show Daddy how grateful you are? Baby? Oh my lord, baby! No! Baby! Ah! Ah! I caught a glimpse of heaven once. The angels showed me. The idea was I'd kill for them, clean up their mistakes on Earth, eventually redeem myself. Tried it. Didn't like it. Told them where to stick it. Superhero. So they brought me up to heaven to see what I'd be missing. A wife, a son, a daughter, all finally at peace. I hadn't seen them since they bled out in my arms. Then I was cast down. Back to a world of killers, rapists, psychos, perverts. A brand new evil every minute, spewed on as fast as men can think them up. A world where pitching a criminal dwarf off a skyscraper to tell his fellow scum your back is a sane and rational act. The angels thought it would be hell for me. Splat! But they were wrong. Welcome back, Frank, says New York City. Oh, dear Lord in heaven, he's back. Bada boom, bada bing. Of course, we appreciate your position, Mr. Mayor. We have photographs of several of your position for that fact-finding tour you went on in Vegas, remember? You were that casino too, Commissioner. Don't even try to deny it. So quit whining and do what Ma Nucci wants. Cause if I get crucified for this, I swear you'll be nailed up there beside me. Right on the front page. I don't care how your officers feel about the Punisher, Captain. It's your precinct, so it's your responsibility. I want your best man on the job, and I want results. Nucci must be turning up the heat. <laughs> my best man on the job? Anyone I give this to is going to laugh in my face. Wait a minute. Give me soap. Ma Nucci's first response, besides motivating the police to put out a hit on the Punisher, which draws three of the best hitmen in the country. Frank overhears the hiring, shadowing Ma's man by hiding in plain sight, hiring a hooker for a pretend date. With what she's wearing, no one's looking at him. Detective Soap is the cop with the worst luck on the force, and being handed the Punisher task force is merely the latest in a long series of unlucky breaks. His new office is the Punisher case file room, filled with stacks of boxes. Harry Heck Thorn. 100% Arkansas redneck, big time pistol fighter, quick as lightning. Old story about Heck, outdraws four state troopers, kills three, last one gets off a shot. Heck ducks it and shoots him dead. Dodged a bullet, but not 30. Eddie Lau, local boy, martial artist, black belt minimum, in anything you care to name. I know a little too, use it if I have to. If you're too close to shoot, I reckon you're too close, period. But I do have one favorite. Splat Foo. Tall Joe Small. Sniper, ex-Marine recon. Capped 50 guys in Desert Storm. Trouble of that war was, it wasn't Vietnam. When you're on your own, behind enemy lines, no artillery, no airstrikes, no hope of an evac, you don't fight dirty. You do things that make dirty look good. Detective Soap is investigating the crime scene where Carlo Nucci landed in the middle of Fifth Avenue, a chalk outline that has to be seen to be believed. He meets the rest of the Punisher task force, behavioral psychologist Bud Plug. It's clear to Soap the police have to be seen as doing something about the Punisher, but realistically, they don't want to stop him. I made too many cookies. I mean, I'm, they'll only go to waste, and, and if you don't want them, that, it's okay. Cookies. Hmm. I take him, she might come back, lonely type, wants to talk. If I don't take him, she might have a nervous breakdown on the spot, cause a scene, draw attention. Thank you, Joan. You're welcome. Frank flips into the front seat of Joe Mausley's car, Ma's consigliere, by silently knifing the driver. He starts driving, ordering Joe to call Ma on the car phone and put it on speaker. It's Joe Mausley, Ma. It's me and the pu Punisher. I'm coming for you, Ma Nucci. I, I thought I'd let you know so you could plan your funeral in advance. I got your sons. I got your killers. Now I've got your man behind the man. Or man behind the hag, in your case, Ma. Nothing stops me. Nothing. Now listen to this. Get out. What? You gotta be out of your mind, man. We're on the Long Island Expressway. We don't know a hundred. For crying out loud, you gotta give me a chance. Same chance you'd give me, Malzia. Out. Oh, oh no. Oh, Lord. Ah! Get all that, Ma. See you soon. I don't believe it. I'm alive. I made it. I made it. I'm alive. <laughs> Ma Nucci's screaming blue murder by now. The guns will go in the armory, the limo in the Hudson. Almost the end of a rich, full day. Father Hector Redondo takes a young criminal's confession as he admits the terrible acts, murder not being the least of them. 
Hector snaps, throwing open the door of the confessional booth, screaming that he'll absolve him. Father Hector Redondo butchers the young man with an axe. He is also a vigilante killer. This is not the first time this has happened, and he cannot control it. People come in and confess to acting like animals, and as the holy, he slaughters them like animals. Ma Nucci has an army around her. Before I go for her, I want to send him out some, give myself a clearer run. So I drive to a wide guy bar in Brooklyn and put most of a belt of 762 through the line of caddies parked outside. The place explodes with Nucci soldiers. The first five out the door gets what's left in the belt. That seems to do the trick. Hey, stop it! Come on, you animal, come and get it! You dirty son of a... <laughs> ah! The Devil by the Horns. Yeah, no, holy God, Johnny! Oh no, oh Lord, kill me! Flamethrower is lousy for a prolonged firefight. Sooner or later, the tanks will take a bullet. But I planned ahead. There, there! That dirty, evil piece of garbage! That animal! Johnny and Joey, Big Tony, burned up like there were nothing! Let's get him! In the elevator, heading for the basement! Stairs! Yeah, beat you to it, scumball! Okay, line up, inside the door, and perforate this creep! You are dead, Punisher! Oh, no. <sighs> Helpful. Cooperative. Stupid. That's my boys. Bud Plug has presented Detective Soap with a thorough psychiatric analysis of the Punisher, which Soap dismisses as psychobabble that doesn't help them find it. He asks Bud to try and figure out where he'll strike next. Father Redondo? What? M Mrs. Pierce? How are you this morning, Father? Are you well? I, I didn't think you came to clean the church till Tuesday. What? I said I didn't think you- What? Me hearing some what it was, Father. Oh, have you spilled the communion wine? I- I- Is it the wine, Father? Only me eyesight's not what it was, you know. Well, whatever it is, I'll soon clean it up for you. Tuesday's cleaning day, so it is. But today's Friday, Mrs. Pierce. What? Today's Friday. Today is Friday. What? Oh, is it Wednesday, is it? Well, me memory's not what it was. What's that you've got there, Father? Is it a turkey, is it? Sure, Thanksgiving's out for months, Father. Even I know that. Well, I can't stand here blather enough when there's work to be done. Have you seen where I left me muff, Father? Have you? thing with Dino. Did you like the cookies? Yes, Joan, I like the cookies. Dino Nucci causes so much carnage that DA and the other families are teaming up to put him in the frame. A bunch of Ivans out in Coney find their way off the planet. Eight men dead in the pool hall. It's got Dino written all over it, except it wasn't him. Which I could give a damn about, except Ma got him the slickest pair of shysters in the city. Those do-gooders care so much about the letter of the law, they took the case. They'll get him off. And if I kill Ma Nucci, Dino will bathe New York in blood, so Dino free I do not want. The problem, the real problem, is Matt Murdock, and the guardian angel that follows him everywhere. Detective Soap returns to his office to find that Bud Plug has hung himself. It seems the dismissal was one rejection too many. First night of the trial, Murdock spent the day making mincemeat of the prosecution. Dino Nucci's on the way back to jail. The unmarked car they've got him in arrives in seven minutes. He dies ten seconds later. With the suppressor on the rifle and the range, 600 meters, give or take. Should be all night before they think of looking here. Which is good. I'm gonna need every second. Lose the gun and raise your hands before I beat you to a pulp. Don't you ever stop. Dino Nucci's a monster, but when he falls, it'll be according to the law. Not in mockery of it. And not shot down in the street like a dog. Don't you understand that? Can't you choose not to kill? Just for once? Can barely hear him. Doesn't matter. If you could just see that you have a choice, I know these speeches years by heart, but hit me. I'm letting him have the first round because he's in for a bad night. He's not the enemy. He doesn't deserve to be destroyed. Giving him the round is easy. I haven't got a chance against him. Never do. That's that. He's not the enemy, but I'm sick of his self-righteous garbage and he deserves a wake-up call. I rigged the ultrasonic an hour ago. Works like sonic whistles do on dogs. Every pooch in the neighborhood starts howling, even with the earplugs I feel like puking my guts up. What it does to those senses of his, I can't begin to imagine. So I make it as quick as I can. What? What is this? One bullet. One shot. One chance to stop me killing Dino Nucci. It's time for that choice you were telling me about. You can't break loose in time. You have the space to throw the gun, maybe knock me off my aim. Got my back to you and I'm wearing Kevlar. It's gotta be a headshot. No, wait a minute. If you don't shoot, you got a death on your conscience. A death you could have prevented. If you do shoot, you're a killer. What kind of a choice is that? 
The one I make every time I pull the trigger. The one I'm making now. No! Here's the car. Don't! Don't do this! Castle! Frank! I can't let you kill him! You know I can't! Don't put me in this position! They're bringing him out. Castle! Listen to me! Stop this now while you still can! Castle! Listen! Listen to me, will you? I can't let you do this! Castle! Peach of a shot. God forgive me. No firing pin. You can leave the killing to me. The chains will be gone when you wake up. Huh? To whom it may concern, all my life I've faced rejection in its many forms, from the first cruel taunts of the kindergarten bullies whose exacting social standards I couldn't hope to meet, to the latest in a long line of shoot-downs from a series of women, each more dowdy than the last. Nowhere have I found the simple sense of belonging that I crave. At last I entered the field of psychology, certain if I could solve my problem through study, if I could identify the reason others spurned my company, then surely I could act upon it. Alas, this was not to be. And yet I hoped at least to use the skills I learned to help others, and perhaps by doing so achieve some measure of popularity. Blah blah, first assignment, blah blah, threw myself into the work, one final and terrible rejection, yada yada yada, come on, get to the point. Okay, decided to seek the warmth so long denied me in life within the halls of eternity instead. Try to think of me with kindness sometimes. Bud plug. And just like that, the little whiner hangs himself. P.S. Tell Detective Soap he won't have to put up with any more psycho babble. Jeez, Soap, what did you say to this guy? That's the sound of my luck running out. Wild Kingdom. Scoping out Ma Nucci for the kill, getting a look at her security team. I followed him through half the stores on Fifth Avenue, one of her soldiers makes me. I wasn't even going to hit her tonight. The limo meets him in the park and this little punk, this blue-eyed boy probably on his first time guarding the witch, he turns and just like that he looks right at me. He looks in my eyes and doesn't like what he sees and something tells him this is it. He's a bright kid, he should go far. I have a 45. he has a submachine gun. He's done real good there kid, Ma's gonna be real pleased. Yeah Junior, way to impress the boss. Come on, this will lead us right to it, move! Hey, you think? He's in here alright, him and the other animals. Let's take him. The other cops taunt Soap in a show of solidarity for Bud Plug, leaving notes on his door and leaving the tie up to remind him. Any sign? I don't see no more blood. Okay, spread out. I'll check in here. Minute you see him, start shooting. One in the shoulder went through the meat. Other one took a chunk of rib with it. That's a killer. Just had the pistol with me. Wasn't planning on anything major. All I've got is what comes to hand, and a world of hurt to use up on the first Goomba to come through that door. Thank you, God. The one who made me, the blue-eyed boy, already thinking about his reward. He'll never guess, believe me. Mommy! Her! In a place like this, what comes to hand depends on your imagination. Always did like the zoo. You hear something from in there? Maybe we ought to check on the kid. I wanted that HK of his, but these are the brakes. Eat up, guys, I haven't got all night. Right on cue. Kid! Kid, you in there? You okay? Come on, kid, quit messing around. Oh, where's he? No! Oh, jeez! <coughs> there, there he goes! You evil freaking scum! You are dead! Who is in there, I wonder? Ah, you're up, big guy. I'm coming for you, Punisher! Wait up, I can't. I'm coming to blow your freaking head off! A massive boa constrictor has crushed the new teeth thug. Ma is not pleased. Detective Soap has his first stroke of good luck in a long time when Lieutenant Molly Von Brichthofen has to team up with him. He's the unluckiest cop on the force, and she's on the outs because she turned down the commissioner for sex. At a press conference. In range of the mic. She's been assigned to take down the Nucci crime family just as he's been tasked with bringing in the Punisher. She proposes they team up since it's obvious the two are at war. I have to close this down soon. Lost more blood than I thought. All that shooting's bound to bring cops. Ma joining in just makes the problem worse. Did you think you had all night or something, moron? Is that why you were playing a nature study? But, but the guys... They're dead, you cretin. Forget them. I want the Punisher. I want to see him dead with my own eyes. There, there, damn you. Oh, can't you do anything right? Ugh. Great, I needed that. Come on, he's wounded. He can't get far. And shoot straight this time. Damn snake took the last punk's gun. Nothing in here I can use as a weapon. B but Miss Nucci, did I tell you to speak? Get in there. Be ready to help me down. Huh? 
cuddly, lovable, docile. That won't do at all. Ow! Stop whining, Imbezol! I'm almost... Ah! Hey! Well, don't just stand there! There he is! Get him! <laughs> it's Bez! <laughs> Let's just pause to savor the moment. <laughs> no! Get away from me! Get away! <laughs> oh, yes. One of the greats. Aye! Siren's coming. Gotta go. Shame. Father Hector Redondo is getting rid of another body, asking God why, why he's been afflicted with this curse when a paper blows onto his face. He sees the clipping of the Punisher, and he takes it as a sign from God that he's not alone. We're still short ahead, guys. Come on, it can't have gone that far. Lieutenant Von Bricktop called you as soon as I got here. Ma Nucci and three of her soldiers. Real mess. I don't know what they were doing in here after dark. Sounds like all my problems are over anyhow. So much for the Titanic team up. This is as stable as it gets, boys. Let's go. Wait a minute. Who's stable? You said a real mess. The three creeps, sure. Ma Nucci is still alive. What do you mean, how am I doing? Even worse things. I was only asking, Ma. I mean, I was trying to be polite, you know, show a little concern. You dimwit. Shoot my brain damaged cousin in the face. Ma'am? Are you deaf or something? Kill Cousin Stevie! Hey, hey now, Ma! C come on, Miss Nucci, you don't really want me to shoot him! I don't? Oh, of course I don't. Silly me. I forgot my employees know my mind better than I do. Second dimwit, kill first dimwit, and my idiot cousin. Now! M m me No, meathead. I want Namor the Submariner to do it instead. Of course, you! I can't kill Joey, ma'am. We've been buddies our entire lives. Ma'am, really, you can't be serious. Ma, please, wait a minute. I was only asking... Miss Nucci, I'm sure he didn't intend no disrespect. I mean, sure, we're all emotional right now. Third dimwit. Kill second dimwit. And his lifelong friend. And my cousin Stevie. Ma, no, I'm blood. I'm... Miss Nucci, please reconsider. This is crazy, ma'am. I'm family. Really, please. So crazy. Ba ba ba. Good. Ten days ago, I was fed to a pack of polar bears. Anyone doubting I mean what I say would do well to remember that. Clean this mess up and let's get down to business. What? We, uh... Spit it out, nosepick. We got all the lines up, Miss Nucci, but ain't nothing changed. You know the Punisher's rep. Tracking the guy's always been next to impossible. That changes as of now. The Punisher's rep is about to take a nosedive. Get everyone on it. Have them drop what they're doing and start looking. Turn over every stone in town till you find out where that cockroach is hiding. And spread the word. Vendetta! I'm putting ten million dollars on the head of the animal that did this to me. You... You want us to put a hit on the bear? On the Punisher. Oh. Mr. Bumpo had a coronary. They had to take him out through the wall. Most exciting thing to happen all week. Took some time out to heal. Not getting any younger. No infection. Stitches held. So tonight I go back to looking for trouble. Ma Nucci living came as a shock. Old witch is blessed by the devil himself. She won't have been wasting time. By now I'm the magic one last job for every killer on the East Coast. I baked too many pies. In a corporate boardroom, a masked man calling himself Mr. Payback bursts in with a gun and accuses the executives of a large multinational corporation of having blood on their hands, the blood of ruined communities felled by their greed. When one calls him a liar, he shoots him. He says he merely gassed security. His fight is with them. He details how their refusal to recall the defective airplane led to a crash, a lawsuit, the shutdown of a factory, and the ruin of a small town as the plant relocated overseas colluding with the authorities there to exploit the workers as much as possible, leading to the death of hundreds of union organizers at the hand of government death squads. He screams that it's time for payback as he slaughters everyone in the room. Meanwhile, in an affluent neighborhood, a man dressed and masked in white calling himself elite has taken it upon himself to begin an aggressive neighborhood watch. He accosts a car full of drug dealers, asking them to sell their wares elsewhere. Before any of them get off a shot or throw a punch, he executes them all with a silenced pistol. He also shoots a rich woman's dog for being on the sidewalk. Been walking the streets all night. The city's dead. Times Square is filled with tourists. The park is filled with cops. About five years back, I could have gone to either and been up to my eyes in scum. Tonight, I might as well have stayed home. Juliana's got a lot to answer for. Give me a wall and jewelry. Come on, hand it over. You deaf or something? You gonna give me a problem? Well, it isn't much. I guess it'll have to do. You're gonna make me cut you? Enough is enough. I'm as healed as I'm gonna get. Tomorrow I finish the job I started. Here I come, Ma. 
ready or not. Ma Nucci's offer of cash for information on the Punisher has turned up a witness who says he knows where he lives. The guy happened to see Frank come home after the zoo fight, leaving a trail of blood. Ma sends her boys to check it out with him. Spit out of luck. Now it seems that the Punisher's return has inspired a number of other vigilantes. Police have so far discovered the badly dismembered bodies of four men in the area of Spanish Harlem. Each one's forehead apparently marked the side of the cross. A police spokesperson said the men were all suspected criminals. Bizarrely, each was also Catholic and attended church regularly. Five men died in the area of Riverside Park last night when a mystery killer opened fire with a silenced pistol. This artist's impression was taken from a statement by Maureen Bennett, who discovered the bodies when the killer shot her pet dog. She described him as smooth and well-spoken, apparently using the name Elite. An NYPD source confirmed that all five men had convictions for drug and gang-related crime. Corporate crime is not immune to this rash of vigilante justice. Yesterday's massacre at Worldwide Investment Corporation's Wall Street offices has been attributed to this man, seen here on security video. Five people died and seven were badly injured when the man ran amok with a machine gun at a WIC board meeting. He said our policies were unethical, said we had blood on our hands, a shaken survivor told reporters. He called himself Mr. Payback. Nothing but damnable, slanderous lies. Hmm? What that maniac was shouting about yesterday. I mean, did you hear that tape? Firing workforces, colluding with death squads. And really, as if it's our fault some stupid plane crashed. The man thought it was mine. I thought he was quite astute, actually. What? Well, I'm CEO. I ought to know what we get up to. Everything this payback character said about policy was accurate. We did all those things, and much, much worse. Hence our current profits. The trick will be to stop him before people look beyond the crazed killer and start listening to what he's saying. What on earth? Is that? It is! It's payback! What's that he's got? No! No, Lord, I don't want to die, Mommy! Pilot, take a piece of action. Get us out of range. Do something for crying out loud. Oh, what am I paying you for? <laughs> a war party has arrived in Elite's neighborhood seeking revenge. He easily snipes them all from a high window and their car rolls harmlessly to a stop. Dad? Dad? What is it, Tim? Mom's cousin, you like, hurry up because the car's on its way and the place starts at 8? Tell her I'll be right there, son. Can I order pizza? Did you finish your homework? Yes. What about your sister? Her too, Dad. Then you go right ahead and order pizza. Frank prepares to take down the Nucci's for good, and he loads the bag with weaponry, including a 60 caliber machine gun and claymores. He's planning on leaving after this job. He's getting too known here. It's too late, though, as the Nucci see him leaving, pay the weasel, and call in the goons. Jaws. Hmm? It's a game. I give you the title of a movie, you have to come up with another one, beginning with the last letter of mine, and so on. Jaws. Oh, I don't know. So, come on, you can watch and play at the same time. That's the beauty of it. I mean, we gotta do something to stay awake. Point. Okay. S. The Spanish Prisoner. Good movie. R. Hey, what's this? Looks like the news you just declared war. Not hard to guess who won. The Punisher. They found him. Let's go. I thought the plan was to watch Manucci. But, but, they're unlikely to get him, Soap. That's why we're here, because our best chance of nailing everyone is when the Punisher goes for Maha. And let's say those guys do find him tonight. What are you going to do about it if the half a dozen tactical units can't? <sighs> okay. Raiders of the Lost Ark. They come out of nowhere. One second the night is quiet, and the next... I know I'm zeroed. There's dozens of them, and it's going to be a bad one. Not how you're supposed to use these, but I need to clear some space. Whoa! Huh? Two pounds of plastic plus 700 ball bearings plus five Nucci soldiers equals... <laughs> Holy jeez, what happened? Wait, what the... Oh! Links disintegrate. Bolt clanks back and forth behind the thudding roar. Brass rains on the sidewalk. The 60 rattles out its song. Song I first heard years ago. Of fire teams dug in on the break between the paddy fields. Of Tracer lasering the jungle night. Of Huey screaming through the void. Of Lieutenant Castle getting short and hating it. Wanting Nam to last forever. A lullaby come all the way to New York City. Come to sing you to sleep. Frank mows down the soldier with the 60 until one of them fires a rocket launcher in the car he's on. And Frank has to dive away. There he goes! Down to the 45 now. Eight bullets, ten punks. Come on, get it! Take him down! Light, damn you. <laughs> hmm. Kevlar took it. Didn't notice. You muzzle up in Burma, you are dead! Vinny, move, I got a shot! Damn it, Vinny! Kevlar couldn't stop that one. I said I had him! 
or that. All right, then. All right. What the? Little man with a big gun. Bam, bam, bam. That's all you are. Bam. God turns the sound off. Then the lights. Any second now. Hmm. Should be dead. Might get there yet. Been shot a bunch of times. Cops will be here any minute. If I'm not dead, I might as well get moving. All I have to do is stand up, walk a block and a half with six bullets in my chest, hope I don't pass out, and I'm home. After all, how hard can that be? Ugh. Am I sure it was the Punisher? Is that supposed to be funny, Soap? Bring out your dead. That and a thousand here. All I have to do is walk to my apartment, find the key, fit in the lock, and close the door behind me without waking any of my freak show neighbors. After all, how hard can that be? Frank has killed 80 Nucci soldiers in the past two weeks. Ma barely has enough left to guard the house. She orders the few survivors of the street battle to watch Frank's apartment while she calls the other families to plead for help. A triumph. Now all I have to do is dig these bullets out of myself, not bleed to death, sew up the holes, and heal. After all, how hard can that be? Joan follows the trail of blood through Frank's open door and sees his closet full of weapons. Frank appears behind her before passing out. Elite has decided to run off a hot dog vendor by blowing up his cart. Hot dogs attract low-class people, you see. His definition of justice means eradicating anything that lowers the tone in his neighborhood. Joan asks Spacker Dave for help, and it's Dave who recognizes Frank as the Punisher. Joan doesn't watch the news. They drag him into bed, and when Frank regains consciousness, Dave reassures him they're going to take care of him. I'm here with Robert Leonard, chairman of Wall Street Investors Association and co-owner of the Metropolitan Trading Incorporated. Thanks for joining us, Robert. Mr. Leonard. Mr. Leonard, what is your reaction to the mysterious figure known as Mr. Payback? He's a lunatic and a terrorist. He's murdered a number of very fine members of the business community, and his accusations of corporate misdeeds are the worst kind of spurious communist propaganda. But a lot of people, while certainly not condoning Mr. Payback's actions, have expressed sympathy with his criticism. Big business is indifferent to public feeling. Yes, well, they're wrong, aren't they? We're obviously talking about the views of a lot of bleeding-hearted liberals who know next to nothing about free market economy. Bam! I'd like to be interviewed now, please. He's, he's, he's dead, yeah. I don't think my views have been reported particularly rationally. I'd like to redress the balance. Uh, you? Never mind, I'll do it myself. People of New York City, people of the United States, I am Mr. Payback. I am the vengeance of the common man. For too long, brothers and sisters, we have let these bloated swine hold sway. They buy our so-called representatives. They blind us with meaningless statistics, buzzwords, scaremongering slogans. When we do stand up for our rights, they fire us on the spot and relocate to countries where people have no rights at all. I'm called a criminal, yet all I do is execute scum who drink the blood of millions, who buy produce in third world farms or pesticides of desiccated hundreds, and warp their unborn children in the womb, who sell guns to tyrants the world over, run an American business like a giant death machine, who defend themselves by screaming communists, when communism is a farce, an empty threat long dead and in its grave. No more, my friends. It is time to strike back against these con men. It is time for payback. Anyway, that's the police. I have to go. Uh, yes, uh, oh lord, he's, he's really dead. His, his brains are coming out of his mouth. Five bucks says she pukes. On air? Come on, these people are professionals. The Nucci's pretend to be cops and do a door-to-door -door search inside the building. Frank is safely hidden at Joan's place and they don't go past her door. Spacker Dave can't help but incriminate himself once he figures out they're mob goons, though, and he panics. Why do you kill them? Huh? Bad people, I mean. I hate them. Oh. I thought it might be because you wanted to make the world safe for good people. Half a dozen bullets in me. Beds full of blood. Lying here dying with Joan the Mouse and Spacker Day for company. Of all the ways I could have checked out, this has to be the dumbest. Desperate measures. The Nucci's inform Ma they have a lead on the Punisher and prepare to torture Dave for information. Ma orders someone to call in the Russian. The guys are impressed. One of them has heard he beat up the Hulk, made him cry and everything. So the story goes. Dave's screaming. Huh? Started a while ago. 
Somebody's doing something to him in his apartment. Ah! Help me up. Lightning strikes my chest, crackles down my ribs, fries my heart like burger meat. All this pain, I'm not even on my feet. Then it settles to a steady agony. Why wait for death to come to me? Yeah! You ready to talk yet, freak show? You want to tell me where the Punisher is while you still got a face? Drop down! That the door? Stay back. No time to find a gun. Dying on my feet here. Now or never. Who's... Where is he, you little maggot? N never. Where's the Punisher? Holy... Mm. Uh. I don't believe this. The Punisher! The Punisher! Oh, mine! St what? Ballistic knife. Spring-loaded. Old favorite of mine. Joan? Oh, dear. M Mr. Smith... Look at Dave. Look what they've done to him. They've... They've... Uh, they pulled his rings out. Detective Soap and Lieutenant Molly are still playing their waiting game, and they both decry the guys at the top like the mayor and commissioner who play ball with the Nucci's. Soap comes close to making a move, but Molly informs him she is a lesbian. One more stroke of bad luck, that's all. But their partnership will survive. You should be dead, mister. Six magnum loads. Your vest soaked up some of the wallop, but... Well, massive tissue damage, punctured lung, three broken ribs, fractured sternum, more blood out of you than in. Didn't want to do this. The doc patches up wounded wise guys, no questions asked. Found his number in a dead man's wallet. Wanted to do this myself. But the boy's involved, and he deserves a chance to keep his face. There are better doctors, more sober ones, but every single one of them be straight on the phone to the Nucci's. This old buzzard, he's old school. All right then. Time to start digging. Anesthetic? I don't. Dig away. I don't know what it is to keep you going, mister. You don't pray you have a little of it left. I do. A lifetime's worth. By the time he's done, I've passed out half a dozen times. The bullet's almost bitten through, and I'm holding a forty-five so tight the barrel's dripping blood. Boy'll be fine. Four thousand? That's what we agreed on. Joan. Uh, yes? Money's in a bag at the back of the refrigerator. Give him 10000 For keeping your mouth shut. No, son. For buying whiskey. Then he's gone. Next 24 hours will decide it. Heal or bleed out. Live or die. Soon as Dave can walk, move him back to his apartment. Yes, Mr. Smith. Joan? Yes, Mr. Smith. What the hell? My name is Frank. Yes, Frank. <laughs> hmm? Hello? Ma? Ma Nucci? How are you, Ma? The Russian thinks of you often. What? You do? For you, Ma, anything. I will be on the very next plate. Das vidanya. <laughs> the other families decline to get involved, lest the Punisher choose to go after them next. The Russian, however, has arrived. From Russia with love. The minute I'm well enough to walk, I start moving the armory. I use a safe house in Red Hook, left over from Micro's time. Figure I could be out of here in a day, maybe two, so long as the wounds don't open. Plan is to get out of here and never come back. I'm on the second van load when it happens. Hey, Mr. Smith. Didn't know you were out of the hospital, Mr. Bumpo. Yep, got home yesterday. Doc said it was only a minor stroke. There's no need for another bypass or anything. Supposed to take more exercise, though. Figured a stroll down to Salad would be just the ticket. Well, you take it easy. You too, Mr. Smith. Keep on punishing. What did you say? Relax, Mr. Smith. I know all about it. Die, criminal scum. <laughs> eh? Oh, listen, I haven't told anyone. How exactly did you find out, Mr. Bumpo? No, wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. When we crashed, I hid to my head. I am confused for a while, yes? A lot is not clear to me. But soon it all comes back, and I cross the border without delay. And bingo, here I am. So what is this problem you are wanting me to solve? Do you know who the Punisher is? Is he a superhero? No, but, well, I suppose he fights crime. Is he like Mighty Thor? I am a fan of Mighty Thor. He has big hammer. He is in, like, good communist. The photo. Show him the photo for crying out loud. There. That's the Punisher. That's the man I want you to shred. Big Skull is cool. How much? Ten million. Ooh, the Russian could buy many pairs of Levi's for that amount. Many compact discs. 
It is a deal, Ma. Glad to hear it. He's holed up in an apartment building in Manhattan. These two losers are driving down there. Uh, Ma? Down there? Ma, everything you said to get him has come back in a body bag. We don't even know what your apartment he's in. The whole place is a death trap. Relax, big fella. You'll just do the driving. The Russian will do the killing. Then we go for milkshakes. Ha <laughs> ha Big fella, hmm? He's, he's, he's dead. Oops. Just you and me now, partner. Frank explains to Dave that he's leaving for their safety, that him being there isn't cool, it almost got him killed. He tells Dave he would usually threaten someone in this situation, but Dave took a lot of pain for him, so he gets a gentle warning to be quiet about it. The news has collected the reports of the three other vigilante killers into a special report and has linked them as being inspired by the Punisher's return. This gives all three of them an idea, and Frank notices trouble on the horizon. No time for it now, though. Any luck? Sure, buy me a drink and I'll totally ruin your evening. Kevin, I'm not deaf, Sulp. The computer practically had a nervous breakdown dredging up this stuff. I almost puked reading it. He's called the Russian, and he's a walking death camp. Here, for instance, is what he did to a Moscow gang boss. Wah! He goes everywhere there's trouble. He thrives on it. Lebanon, Iraq... Rwanda, East Timor, month or two in Chechnya, a lot of stuff in the Balkans, periodic visits to Belfast, where he's supposed to have eaten a man for a bet. That's not counting ordinary criminal activity, which brings in the rest of the globe. He's worked for everyone from the Yakuza to Vegas PD, and the mob, obviously. Sometimes he's other for money, sometimes just for fun. Pretty much everybody wants to kill him. And now? Now he's our problem. Our problem? Ma Nucci's brought him in to kill the Punisher, so what else is he doing at her place? As I see it, we have two choices. Oh, Molly, please don't say what I think you're about to say. We can call Tactical, who with a guy like this will immediately hand over to Delta and watch the whole thing go down the toilet. Everyone from the Pentagon on down will get involved, and our case will get swept away in less than a second. Also, there'll be an instant bloodbath. I mean, this heavily armed commando team's hunting a giant psychopath through the streets of New York. By the time they get through, the whole city will be running red. Alternatively... We can handle this the same way we're handling Manucci. We can leave the Russian to the one man who might be able to take him. Then we step in and arrest what's left, right? Why me, Lord? I think it's worth giving it 24 hours. I think I need a lot of alcohol to make this decision. I heard you were leaving. Yes, Joan, I am. Why? Because like I told Dave, I'm putting you people in danger. I don't want you getting hurt. I don't feel like I'm in danger. Ever since I found out who you really are, I felt safe for the first time in my life. Come again? I don't like this city. It's big and dark and scary. Awful things happen to people. I'm frightened every waking minute. I'm scared to walk to the end of the street. Why don't you leave? Oh, I'd like to. I'd like a little house in the country with a pond and ducks to feed and a dog to throw sticks for and trees, too. Then you should just go. You're right about this city, Joan. It is a bad place. Bad things do happen. Just go. I'm scared to. I haven't any money, but mostly I'm just too scared to leave. Scared to even think about changing my life. I'm scared of everything. Why do you stay if you think it's so bad? Because I like it. This is a terrible world. Yes, Joan. It's a nightmare. The last guns are packed. I'm all set to go, and there's a knock at the door, which I think is Joan again. And just like an idiot, I open up without checking. Hello, big boy. <clears throat> Glutton for punishment. You are the Punisher, yes? Of course you are. You look just like your picture. I am called the Russian. Right. Let's get started, shall we? <clears throat> a Nucci soldier walks in on Ma without her wig, and in the Darth Vader moment, we can see the claws have gone into her brain. The mayor and commissioner have called about the Russian, who trips an international flag on his way over, especially after crashing the plane he was on. She tells him to keep the cops away, she calls him outside help for the Punisher, and she cites her blackmail material as motivation. Oh, such grace, big boy! And what they landing? 6.6! <laughs> what was that? Some fighting you yet, eh, big boy? Good! Up you come, my friend. Easy now. Don't try and rush things. Okay, let's have it. Your best shot. Give it to me. That's the spirit. Okay, my turn. Don't go anywhere. 
Be right with you, big boy. <laughs> okay, pucker up. No. Wah! Home run. Incoming. Oh, don't count him out just yet. I like you, big boy. I think we still got a lot of fun ahead of us. <laughs> Knife in the guts, yes? That's not very nice. Elite his kneecap to pot dealer before proceeding to kill him, and a man in a car stops by him. Fight fair, big boy. No more knives, yes? Oh, you chill here, big boy. I go find something else to hit you with. Chill, get it? Funny joke. Okay, maybe not. Why can't I just pass out? Get in the car, Elite. I know you. You're that freak on the news, Mr. Payback. Isn't that what you call yourself? Freak, that's a rich coming from you. Come on, get in the car. And why would I want to do that exactly? You know why. We do the same job. We'll do it a lot better teaming up. United we stand, divided we're just a pair of idiots working our way into some police snipers' crosshairs. But you, you hit corporations, banks, the rich. I do what the cops can't or won't. Does that ring any bells? Point. What a repulsive car. Come on, let's get out of here before someone sees me in it. Grow up, will ya? We can't all afford Porsches. So how did you find me? I did what the cops would have actually wanted to catch you. Staked out the street you've been operating on and waited for you to work your magic. That boy's only selling grass, you know. It's hardly a shooting offense. He lowered the tone. So where are we going now, anyway? Spanish Harlem. I want to see if we can find this axe man, the one who's been cutting up the criminals and dumping the bodies up there. After that, we go for the big man himself. The Punisher. Ugh. Turn on the gas. For no good reason. Heads up, big boy! Ah, burning! No! You heard me, you stupid American pig! Doesn't like heat. Have to remember. This is ridiculous. We're never going to find him. Cruising up and down this disgusting ghetto, hoping we'll just run across an actually vigilante. What kind of plan is that for crying out loud? I found you, isn't it? Moan, moan, moan. That about sums you up, doesn't it? Typical spoiled little rich boy. You run into a problem you can't solve with money and you fall apart on the spot. This is the real world, pal. This is where what you want has to be paid for with effort and hard work. Don't lecture me, you good lord. Help me. The priest, he's gone crazy. What on earth? He tried to kill me, man. He's taking my confession. I told him I held up a 7-Eleven and he, he, he stuck an axe in my chest. Oh no, I'll absolve you, you filth. I'll absolve you. Driving around hoping we'll just run across him. What, what kind of a plan is that? Oh, shut up, you oaf. What are you doing? Huh? I know you, don't I? From TV. Elite and Mr. Payback. Yes, you do the same thing I do. I'm afraid we know you by reputation only, Father. Hector Redondo, my friends. You can call me the Holy. We've been looking for you, Father. We have an idea we want to run by you. Really? I wonder if it's the same one I had. Very likely. Three of us. The Punisher. We find him. Well, you know what this is, don't you? This is the beginning. Ding, ding, and the round one. Ah, it's good to be back in the United States of America. Oh, I love it here. Especially, I love your American superheroes. We have nothing like them where I come from. When we finish here, perhaps I visit them for autographs. Well, well, look what I must have dropped. Uncanny X-Men, collectible first appearance. Amazing Spider-Man, thwip, thwip. Fantastic Four, perhaps I join them. Who is stronger, the Thing or the Russian, yes? And here comes Daredevil, Man Without Fear. You know I am founding member of Daredevil Man Without Fear fan club of Smolensk? Hey, what you up to over there, big guy? Ooh. No end to your bad habits, is there? Okie dokie, big boy. Seconds away. Round two. And this is only round two. Any which way you can. Ugh. Mr. Smith, dude! What are you still doing here? We, we heard the noise, but we thought it was you, like, punishing someone. We didn't know you were the one getting... Go, you idiots. Ah, uh, these are your little friends, yes? When the Russian gets through with you, imagine the terrible things that will happen to them. <laughs> go. Go now. But... Go, damn you. Why? <laughs> Mr. Smith? Mr. Bumpo. Yes? That pizza hot? Uh, yeah, I mean, Sal's is right on the corner. Good. Can't hide from me, big boy. Come out and take your medicine.
Yeah, no, burning hurts. Sensitive skin. My heart bleeds. Huh? Wah! Oh, horrible. Like seeing an alien. For this, the Russian takes kid gloves off, big boy. Shut it, Ivan. Welcome to New York City. No! Boom! <laughs> Mr. Smith? Just hang on, Mr. Bumpo. I'll be over soon. <laughs> How long has it been, Mr. Bumpo? Uh, about 20 minutes, Mr. Smith. I'll give it another 10. Okie dokie. The three vigilantes argue amongst themselves about the best way to halt the flood of crime in the city until the Holy smashes the desk to put an end to it. He demands they first unify their intent before approaching the Punisher to join them. Um, uh, hello? You okay, Mr. Bumpo? Fine, Mr. Smith. Just a bit confused, really. Mr. Smith, you, you beat this guy? He got me mad. It's time this was done with. Go into one of the other apartments and lock the door. Don't come out until I've left. You won't be back, will you? No. How do you do it, Frank? When you said you were scared and you wanted to live in the country, do you remember what I told you? Just go. That's how simple it is. Outside Frank's apartment, a Nucci soldier is improbably reading the Bridges of Madison County when Frank yanks him out of the car and shoves his candy bar into his mouth. He tosses the book out as he drives away. In case the guy did survive, he can finish it. I will walk again. If it takes uh, years of therapy, if it uh, costs a fortune, I don't care. One day I will walk again. <sighs> Any news from the Russian? Not yet, Ma. Well, when he arrives, show him straight in and go and wake the kitchen staff. He'll be bringing me the Punisher's head. Whoa, Th that was him. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, Joe from Manucci, on our last day, too. Go, Punisher. Go, Punisher. I knew he wouldn't let us down. The Holy has a simple solution to the group's inability to choose targets between the corporate overlords and the street trash. He says they'll simply kill them all, and the Punisher will lead them. They call themselves the Vigilante Squad. Well, you call me the instant you hear from him, understand? He should have finished the Punisher hours ago. Oh, my God. No. Ma, you need to see this. Well, let me over there, Creighton. Careful, moron. What's all the fuss about, anyway? Ma Nucci. Ma Nucci. Is this all you got? What do you think you're doing? You scum! You cowardly scum! For this I pay your wages! Can't pay us enough to fight that, Ma. Sorry. But, but he's just one man! Come back, you yellow bellies! I will not accept this! No! 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 Yes. Don't mind me, Ma. I'll be out of your way in no time at all. Go, Frank, go. I can't believe you're actually doing this! You're a monster and I'm killing you. It's not complicated. But why this? Why burn the entire house down? Talk to me, you pig! Because I want you gone from the face of this earth. You scum! You vicious, evil scum! You're no better than I am, Punisher! You think you're better? You think you're on the side of justice, but you're wrong! You're a serial killer, Punisher! You're insane! It's mass murder, whatever you want to call it! It's genocide! What do you do? Keep going till we're all dead? Will that make you happy, you sick, twisted creep? You should put a bullet in your own head, Punisher. That's the only way you'll get any peace. And you know it, too. You're a dead man walking, Punisher. You are damned. So tell me something I don't know. No, got to. Ah, not going to let you win, animal. Going to beat you yet. I'm coming to get you, Punisher! Uh, not giving up. Not giving in. Uh, uh, uh. Go back to hell, Ma. No! Ah! Did you hear that? Molly, let's get out of here. What's burning? Oh, great. That's it? He's burned the Nucci house down? Is this supposed to be our big arrest? Well, that's just wonderful, Lieutenant Von Richthofen. That's swell. At last, your master plan has come to fruition. Leave them to it, you said. Let the Punisher hit Ma Nucci, and we'll catch them both at it, and make our careers, you said. And I listened to you. And now look, gaze on our triumph. Well, well. 
my very own task force. I, I don't want to die. Don't do anything stupid. What, what do you want? The copycats, the other vigilante, did you get anything on them? Um, not much. We didn't have a lot to work with. I mean, there were a couple of things I wanted to follow up on, but listen to me carefully. I blew open Ma's safe before I burned the house. Found a little under a million in cash in this. The money's mine. You give me everything you got on Elite Payback and the Axe Man up in Spanish Harlem. Everything, no matter how unlikely. This is yours. Well, what's in it? Photographs. What kind of photograph? The career-making kind. Your backup will be here any second. Say yes or no. Your captain didn't seem too pleased. My captain can drop dead. Living a little dangerously there, Soap? I've just made a deal with a psychotic vigilante, Molly. As far as I'm concerned, the world no longer makes any sense. I may as well live dangerously. Let's have a look at our treasure, shall we? Is that the mayor? Well, that's definitely the commissioner. They... they seem to be... Mr. Smith? Is that you, Mr. Smith? Oh, Dave. Joan, you okay? I, I thought I heard a noise. I thought it might have been Mr. Smith. But it's been nearly a month. If he was going to come back, he would have by now. What's up, guys? It's okay, Mr. Bumpo. Joan just thought you heard Mr. Smith. Oh, well, his door's open. Hello? Mr. Smith? It's us, Mr. Smith. Try to find the light, guys. Dave, how come you're still all bandaged up? Hasn't your face healed yet? Yeah, but I kind of like being bandaged. It's even more individual than piercing. It says more about me. Ah. Oh. I knew it. He won't be back. Not ever. I'm always going to be here. I'm always going to be scared. Joan? I think you should take a look at this. Joan? Joan, just go. Frank. I don't believe this. I don't... Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to eat the entire city just like a big bagel. Specker Dave! Best I can do, Joan. Dave... Mr. Bumpo, maybe I am damned, but I'm not dragging you good people down with me. Molly has taken a much-needed vacation while Soap has been made the new commissioner. He'll have to enjoy while he can, because if you think his luck has changed for good, you don't know Garth Ennis. Soap won't be commissioner long before he's enveloped in scandal, and he has a long road ahead of him as the Punisher's police contact, but he does get a happy ending at the end of the night series. One last thing. The two cops' work is pretty sketchy. Already spent a week getting nowhere. The lead hasn't shown, seems to have quit on the neighborhood he was working. Mr. Payback could hit any bank in town, any office on Wall Street. I'd still be waiting years from now. Which leaves the Axe Man. This place was Soap's one lead. All the victims went here for confession. Priest who took him is one Father Hector Redondo, or as Soap's notes put it, FHR? For crying out loud, we'll never kill anyone at this rate! I mean, we've been meeting here every night for weeks now, trying to establish the ground rules for our vigilante squad, and so far we haven't come up with this pompous little pansy's fault. Him and his idea for sterilizing poor people. Watch it, Pinko. You're the one who's obsessed with poverty causing crime. If you had even one brain cell, you'd see this is the solution to the problem. Well, this is getting us... I knew you'd come. It was inevitable. It certainly was. This is a great honor. You can't begin to imagine what this means to us. Sir, your work inspired my own. It inspired us all. And now you've come to lead us. To lead our squad. Lead you? Of course. Lead you. You're a lunatic. You're a Nazi. And you. Does the name Maria Lopez mean anything to you? Huh? Maria Lopez is a cleaner at Worldwide Investment Building. She died and one of your bullets went through the wall of the boardroom. She's one of four innocent people who have been cut down in the crossfire of your little crusade because you couldn't be bothered to plan properly. Oh, well, I mean, there have to be sacrifices made in any war, haven't there? Glad you think so. Oh, wait a minute. We thought you'd be with us on this. You're supposed to join us. Lead us. This is what you do, isn't it? You're just like us. You kill the same scum we do. We've got it all worked out. The vigilante squad with secret plans and passwords and codes and things. Together, we can punish the guilty. We can clean up the city once and for all. In heaven's name, man, isn't this exactly what you want? No. The end. 
The Punisher Marvel Knights series picks up from right here and takes Frank on several fantastic adventures, one involving the return of the Russian with a cybernetic body and a team-up with Spider-Man, a humiliating encounter for Wolverine, and another where Wolverine, Daredevil, and Spider-Man team up to try and bring Frank in, and it ends as badly as you can imagine. Garth had a ton of fun with the greater Marvel Universe while keeping Frank the same as he was in these pages, also with art usually by Steve Dillon for 37 issues before starting the Punisher Max series, a more mature book with much darker criminal elements to punish, and a much deeper look at Frank's internal psychology and how the world reacts to him. It's an excellent follow-up to the Knight's Run. I can't recommend them both highly enough. I'm not generally a fan of Punisher comics, these Ennis runs really are elevated beyond the form.